What's up guys, Fahan here. Welcome to another Ultimate Review. This is the review of the Zantes 310M. Zantes first maxi scooter. Huge thanks to Chokong Agency for loading me this bike for the review. Alright guys, so let's begin with the riding review. The Zontes M310 uses a transponder, so it's a keyless ignition. And starting it up, make sure you're near to the bike and you press this red button on the handlebar control. And then there's gonna be a beep. And starting it up, brake in, ignition. And yeah, as per usual, we're gonna begin with a CD setting. We're gonna ride in the CD setting. And then after that, uh, expressway setting uh, but currently it's the peak hour uh, hopefully traffic isn't that bad but we're just gonna proceed with the ride review anyway so weighing at 168 kg when you are in the intersection and when the bike comes to a stop there's no issue with weight at all one of the lighter bikes that I've ever ridden and right off the bat when you're riding the M310 the handles pretty well it's a very nimble bike are very smooth and as you're riding as you're accelerating you don't feel that you're going fast at all it's very stable uh, really handles like a dream and given that it's a scooter it does pretty well in start stop situation and also the bike size is slightly slimmer than the x-max almost has a adv 150 and the nmax kind of size uh, so you're able to mitigate in between cars without any issue or heavy traffic you know it's able to do well on the city streets you know i'm really enjoying myself as i'm riding this bike you know uh really handles like a dream feel pretty much confident you know, leaning into the corners even though it doesn't have any traction control it's very nimble handles perfectly you're able to take on like heavy or slow traffic right in front of you like i'm behind this car right now going at 30 kilometers per hour so <laughs> the talk is them the talk is them good actually it's a very talky machine but at the same time uh, you are able to tame the M310 for slow or heavy traffic like this you know and the TFT display is not too distracting in my personal opinion like as you're glancing down looking at you know at the gauge cluster it's not too bright although you are able to adjust the brightness of the TFT display I like the size also, it's not too big like the X-Max or the Forza uh, the size is very much, um, I have to say, similar to the N-Max it's almost like a class 2B scooter with class 2A performance <laughs> I think it's good, you know, for riders wanting a light premium scooter packed with features, you know and there's also like two riding modes on this bike and currently in sport mode right now and I've actually tried out both sport and eco mode and uh, in sport mode but actually performs much faster like upon launch when the traffic light the bike is talky uh, but for eco mode uh, the bike tends to be uh, sluggish so uh, eco mode in its name is supposed to save fuel for the bike but some Zontes owners of other models have reported that uh, the fuel economy it's uh, better on sport mode uh, for some reason because the eco mode the torque is delayed the pickup is delayed so uh, it uses up more fuel actually so some Zontes riders has actually reported the bike saves more fuel in sport mode which is surprising actually as I'm currently in sport mode right now as you can see uh, for me I just stick to sport mode because eco mode kind of sluggish lah uh, but I think if you're cruising in the city setting, traffic jam, uh, eco mode is definitely going to do justice. Uh. As uh, it's slower, it's not so powerful, you know. You're able to tame the bike well uh, in city traffic or heavy traffic or even traffic jam. And the TFT display also does a lot of justice, you know. Like you're able to toggle 
a lot of things there's even a built-in uh, volt meter in the TFT display and you're able to toggle you know from the odometer trip meter to the engine temperature average speed average fuel consumption and the range that uh, is there from the bike uh. according to the spec sheet there's a 12 liter fuel tank with a projected consumption of 3.2 liter per 100 kilometer so um, I don't know my maths <laughs> so you can uh, just put it down here for you guys but I must say right now I'm halfway through and I have a range of 213 kilometers left uh, when I topped it up the range it displayed right here is like 350 I must say that pretty good fuel consumption I must, I must add uh. Currently it's sport mode now. Pickup is pretty damn good <laughs> for a class 2A scooter. Known for its radical and futuristic motorcycle styling, the Zantis M310 is no different with its angular lines and tech laden features. The M310 is Zantis's first ever attempt at a maxi scooter. With the success of its international sales for its 310 series of bikes, the M310 fills the void for the brand's scooter category. Engine is shared with the rest of the 310 series of Zontes bikes. A 309cc liquid cool single cylinder 4 stroke SOHC with fuel injection and an automatic CVT transmission. Right, so sitting posture wise, as you can see, I'm 165. The seat height is 76 cm. Because of the wide nature of the seat, my feet is actually tiptoeing quite a bit. But it's not that bad. But as you can see, for me, there's a huge area for myself to sit on so I can just position myself like this or like this as and when I'm comfortable so sitting position standard typical uh, scooter position okay there's the floorboards there's two options for you to put your feet you can put it top like this or like this or even like this <laughs> and for me I'm more comfortable if like my butt is very much closer to the and over here, pretty nice. Uh, my arms aren't even stretched out that much, pretty relaxing. But as with a scooter, right? Uh, after a while, you tend to hunch your back, so do straighten your back from time to time. Lah. Other than that, I must say that the sitting position is quite relaxing, quite comfortable. From the overall design, it's definitely adapted from the X-Max. You know, from the silhouette to the sides over here. And the front, especially the headlights, the twin headlights, right? And the general outlook is definitely adapted for the X-Max. There's also cues of Honda Forza in it, especially with the cover set right here. However, comparing to the Forza and X-Max, it's slightly smaller, slightly slimmer. As with all Zontes bikes, it has the futuristic elements in it. Definitely that part stands out having a unique look and identity to the brand and despite its futuristic outlook it still retains its maxi scooter shape and design language so you know that you're looking at a uh, typical uh, road bike like. and I must say it really blends in the traffic very well as a maxi scooter you'd expect convenience so um, the storage cubbies under seat storage and unseat storage is actually not that huge 12 liters uh, pretty small for uh, a maxi scooter and it can only fit like one helmet and if you have a full face helmet it's a bit of a squeeze in there and Zontes has kindly provided a cover inside the underseat storage to prevent like scratching your stuff or helmet for example there's even a light for when you need to take your stuff in a poorly lit area and there's also a toolkit over here and there's a nice dedicated slot for the toolkit in which in my personal opinion is like wow <laughs> and yeah battery is also in here this is a storage cubby there's two of it in front over here and this this side is actually a usb port there's two usb ports in fact where you can charge your phone on the go and the left one actually locks when the bike is turned off and the right one over here it's just a small storage cubby i think for me i can only fit my wallet in there and this is not locked while well, the bike is turned off lah. so have do bear in mind not to keep any valuables in the right side storage cubby lah. and there's also the fuel compartment we have a press of a button it opens and what I like is that every like button you press <laughs> there's gonna be a sound and all of these are electronic locks really gives it a nice premium kind of feel when 
you are using these buttons, you know. So let's talk about the handlebar controls. Uh. I must say that it's really on par with a 2010 Aeros bike. There's like a lot of buttons, a custom buttons over here and over here. And um, this isn't a naked setup. There actually is a plastic cladding over here. So, you know, you may think that it may be difficult to put a phone accessory or phone mount on the handlebar. But there's actually a compartment here in which you can open, revealing the handlebar itself, uh, there's actually an accessory. You can actually put your phone mount over here. I don't know how to call it. Lah. It's just a mount for you to put your phone mount, basically. <laughs> the buttons are really nice to the touch and really impressive. I must say, lots of features on it. To the left over here, there's the hazard light, horn, left and right indicators, high beam, low beam, flash button, and also another feature that I missed out, almost missed out lah, is actually the screen shield. It's actually adjustable. With a push of a button, it actually rises out like this. To turn the bike on, using the red button, engine cut off, light switch, fuel compartment and underseat storage compartment button, and the starter. And there's also a button with the word eco, uh, and that, that is to turn on the eco mode, in which um, there's actually two riding modes on this bike. One is sport mode and eco mode. So sport mode, uh, the bike actually feels a bit faster when you're riding it and eco mode uh, is like a bit sluggish la. I actually described this in my riding review and also there's a TFT display, a full TFT display eh, which is pretty impressive I must add uh, there's a lot of things that you're able to do on it there's the Bluetooth phone connectivity uh, you can sync it with the Zontes Intelligent app uh, built-in tire pressure monitoring system so you can actually check your tire pressure on this TFT display right here you can toggle the display on how you like it uh, the gauge cluster will actually display accordingly like there's four presets actually I don't think you are able to add in your own personal touch but, but to be able to have custom gauge cluster interfaces uh, that's pretty awesome in my personal opinion to toggle there's the set and the mode button so the set button actually brings you to the menu and mode is to just toggle between the options inside the gauge cluster by default there's daytime running lights but there's also a light switch providing additional lighting uh, this is actually different from the high beams and when it's switched on there's actually a backlight for the handlebar control buttons and it lights up in this beautiful uh, red glow which I totally think that is awesome you know and all bikes should have this horn check for the Zontes 310M <laughs> uh, okay not too bad lah uh, really has a mean kind of uh, sound to it lah <laughs> not as if a Zontes it really packs a lot of technology inside the bike. Eh? I'm pretty disappointed that it came with um, traction control. I wish they had that, just like the Kimco uh, DTX 360. Okay, la, I think as I'm riding, I feel quite confident with the bike la, actually. The Zontes 310M actually comes in five colors. This beautiful red one that I have right here. There's also black, blue, pretty decent color options. Eh? I must add better than the X-Max with just the hue of greys and black, you know. <laughs> Let's talk price. Um, machine price by itself, without COE basically, is 9,900. For a class 2A scooter with this much features, uh, it doesn't get much cheaper than this. It's really, in my personal opinion, very cheap. Okay, and with COE, um, January 2022, <laughs> 19,589. Um, an ADV 150 actually costs 15,000 now. Really value for money, in my personal opinion. And from the dealer themselves, uh, Chokong Agency, they actually provide a uh, three years warranty or 30,000 kilometers mileage on the engine and two years warranty or 20,000 kilometers on all other electronic components. Lah. <laughs> and to add on, owners overseas have also reported like 20,000 kilometers mileage on the 310M's uh, belting lah. And finally, this is the spec sheet comparing the M310 to other mainstream scooters. You guys can pause and compare the numbers. And I really like the buttons, you know. The, the buttons are very clicky, uh, very nice to the touch and also very responsive. Alright, let's head into the highway. And yeah, uh, peak hour, so I don't know how I'm actually gonna need to test out its uh, fullest potential But uh, anyway, we cannot go above 90 anyway So uh, yeah, we're just gonna do our best lah 
But uh, yeah, really like as I've comment just now, the talk is really damn good. Maintain speed very well. Cool. <laughs> One of the more quieter uh, automatic scooters that I've ridden. Almost comparable to the Kimco DTX 360. Okay, so we're on the highway. Cuts through the wind very well, you know, as you can see, because of the adjustable windshield. <laughs> the wind isn't really in your face. And definitely is able to go above 100, you know, it's very stable. Um, at 90 km per hour, you don't feel that you are going at 90. It's a very stable ride. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the Zontes brand. So in Singapore, they've been here for quite some time. They are bringing brought in by Chokong Agency. is uh, the exclusive dealer for the Zontes brand here in Singapore. And they've been here for quite some time. Especially the uh, G155 and the uh, 310T, which is the adventure model. It's been quite popular. Here in Singapore, I've seen like a few riders riding it on the roads. However, the brand is still somewhat in its infancy here in Singapore. Uh, it didn't gain too much traction or recognition, and it's still very much uh, pretty obscure as compared to like you know, other brands, like mainstream brands like KTM, Yamaha, Honda. Uh, but from what I've been told by Chokong Agency, the 310 series, the adventure model, the T310, is very popular. Also with the G155, which has the largest fuel tank on any motorcycle I've ever seen. Uh, 20 litre fuel tank, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that is also a very popular model, and I personally have seen riders riding it around. But still, riders are skeptical about the brand due to its obscurity. And that is something that Zontes will need to overcome lah for the Singaporean market lah. In Malaysia, um, it's kind of obscure too. The sales have been strong from what I've seen on, on the internet. And in the Philippines also, it's uh, kind of the 310 series and the G155 is also popular. In Europe and India, Bangladesh, in developing markets especially, the Zontes brand has been gaining a lot of traction. There's even reviews online from the respective reviewers in their native languages <laughs> uh, English reviews are uh, not so much um, I think we are the first few and surprisingly our most popular video is actually our so-called uh, overview of the Zontes G155 <laughs> and yeah I would love to do another video about it like to do a proper bike review on the G155 that would be awesome given that it's a popular model overseas and in Singapore, um, yeah, I have seen riders riding it around. I got like five days with the Zontes M310, and I must comment, it's actually a pretty good scooter with its features, performance, and quality all packaged in a, in a price point of 9.9k uh, machine price. It's definitely a great deal my personal opinion. However, um, with its lack of brand awareness and its Chinese origins, riders would definitely be skeptical of getting one. And I've seen it firsthand, you know, um, next seasons being critical at zone tests without giving it a chance or even test riding one, making assumptions that it's a bad bike just because of its Chinese origins. Uh, to me, um, you just have to try it. Lah. It's definitely not a bike for everyone. It's meant for riders who are looking for a cheaper, unique option as a daily commuter. In my personal opinion, with the dealer support from Chok Kong Agency, quality, decent performance, and features usually found on premium motorbikes at an attractive price point, it's really something that uh, you can consider. You're definitely buying a Zontes, not for the brand. So once again, huge thanks to Chokong Agency for lending me the Zontes M310 for the review. You guys can go there and actually test ride the full range of uh, Zontes bikes, including this one. Now that's it for the vlog. 
we will see you in the next one.